Hey, what's up, guys? Um, yeah, I got uh, some videos coming up with the uh, the old Southwest Commander and the uh, Mammoth Bark Sabenza and that SJ75. But uh, I just wanted to, to pop off a few videos first, and um, that I'm kind of just wanted to really get out of the way. And this is one of them, man. Um, a knife that I was kind of intrigued by when I saw the. Uh, I really hadn't seen it. I saw it in the catalog, but when I saw the article about it in uh, Tactical Knives Magazine, it, it kind of really um, piqued my interest. This is the uh, Boker Todd Begg uh, Field Marshal, which I think is uh, the production version of his uh, Glimpse, his custom Glimpse. And this is a really, really cool cool knife, guys. Um, really don't hear too much about it, but you know... I, Everybody knows Boker's Plus line is hit or miss, but I've actually had really good luck with them. You know, with the uh, Sniper Blade Works collab and uh, this knife right here, and um, of course the uh, Todd Drexford knife was my my version was it was good. But let's just get to this knife. This is the uh, Field Marshal. Great, great knife, guys. It, it's it's a right off the bat. It's a heavy knife. It weighs about seven ounces, but I've been carrying it for a couple of days, and you know, you, you don't feel it. I mean, I'm not. I don't get what people's big hang-up is about like, rules with their weight. I mean, I can get it, but I really once it's in your pocket for a little while, you you forget about it. But this is the Todd Bag Field Marshal. Great, great knife. Um, it's got uh, G10 scales. They're kind of slick. I'm gonna have to t take this to uh, give it the tough thumbs treatment. They're pretty th pretty slick. But, um, you know, they, they, the way the, the knife has great ergonomics. It's a 440C blade. Awesome blade shape. I mean, look at that. The ergonomics are amazing. Your forefinger grip and then your thumb fits like the first joint fits right there. Perfect ergonomics. You got a choil. Um, this is right out the bat. Let's get a size comparison going. It, it's exactly the same size as a uh, Emerson Commander. A Benza and an SNG. So it's a rather big knife. It's got about a four inch blade, nine inches overall. So big knife, guys. Big, big knife. But it, it, it handles itself really nice. It's you can once you got your hand on it, I mean, it, it, it kind of disappears in your hand. But I love that blade shape. Kind of a, a modified spear point or draw point. Flips open. Amazing. It's got no thumb studs, but it flips open just awesome. Right out of the box, it flipped right open. No blade play at all. Rock freaking solid. Big, thick liners. I believe the liners are 2.5 millimeters, something like that. Really thick. Stainless steel liners. Um, They're not milled out at all, so... That definitely increases the weight. Um, pocket clip for tip down right hand only. And what's cool about this knife is, you know, it doesn't have a uh, blade stop. And it's not inside the blade. Now what it is, is if you look at the blade, you see that little kind of like indent in the blade there? Right at the tank, above the, right above the, between the flipper and the... Uh, Jimping, open the knife, and you can see it right there. When the liner lock flips over, it flips right in front of that. So that's the blade stop. So this knife is pretty much never going to have blade play. I mean, it's it, it would be impossible, right? I mean, scientifically speaking, I mean, because there's you know there's just no way for it to to get up and down blade play. But rock solid. I mean, if you, if you guys can see that part of the blade, the flipper, or the actually that little area right there, open it up, and it, the liner lock flips right in front of it, and that's the blade stop. Very, very genius design. Very genius. This knife can be opened with the thumb on that third serration, that third opening right there third slot 
and just the ergonomics of this knife are just amazing. It just fits in the palm so nice. And that your thumb fits right there. Of course, you have that choil for close up work. Just the only hit I have on this knife is the uh, the weight and the G10 scales are pretty slick. But I really I can't find a hit on this knife. I mean, look at the centering. Perfect centering. Um, it's got a uh, G10 backspacer, which is very nice. Nice lanyard loop there. It's not a hole, it's a loop, which is very cool. I just wanted to share this knife with you guys because there's, uh, I don't think there's any videos of it on YouTube. And, you know, I was kind of a shot in the dark buying it because I hadn't seen any reviews. So I kind of just wanted to get this up there in case somebody's interested and they can have something to, uh, to look at. You know, and, but it flips open so fast. Every single try, it just flips open. Nice thick liners. I just love how the the blade stop is. It's very ingenious. You know, it 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 just it's very rock solid. Great knife. I got this for sixty sixty five dollars plus shipping, so seventy two dollars. So, all right. Y'all take care now. Be safe and stay sharp.